everyone, Becky here from the Everybody Canteen. This week I've had a nip down to our allotment to see what we've grown in Drawsden. And group four of our alternative provision have grown to amazing garlic. And it gave me a little bit of inspiration of what we could do today. So it's not fully arts and crafts, but it's a bit crafty. Alright? Look at that that they've grown. So they they grow these from one clove of garlic. So regrowing from the seeds and from the roots, okay? So that is absolutely amazing and well done to all them. So it gives you the idea of growing our own veg and then in a few weeks or whenever it's all sprouted and it's all come through, we can do another video and see what we've done. So what I've got is two foil trees like this with soil in, okay? And what we're gonna do is, with my leftover food, rather than waste it, we can regrow it. So today I've got corn and strawberries, okay? So we've got the foil trees, and I've filled them with soil, yeah? This soil ain't even the best, so fingers crossed, okay? And what we need to make sure we do, is we need to make sure that we can put some holes in. So I have got a sharp knife, so just be careful if you are doing it with a sharp knife. Put some holes in so that the water, when you're watering, drains from the bottom. Okay, so I've just put a few little slits in like that. I hope you can see there. Okay, and then same again with this one. Just like so. Of course, be careful with knives because we can get a little bit. <laughs> okay, so just be careful. If you need to, get a, get a blunt knife, that will also work the same, okay? So, the sweet corn first. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a few little holes. It worked better if you had a shovel, but today I'm just going to use my hands and the a little bit of the knife and I've got the corn so all you need to do is if you've got any leftover corn from a barbecue or whatever like that you just need to flick them off like so and then you've got the roots also to the corn so here's a few that I've already done so I'm going to plant four in okay so it's just it's about a centimetre deep put one piece of corn in next one another piece another piece and one more for good luck and then we just cover it over with the soil okay easy peasy so then you need to make sure you take it outside and pop it on a plate so that the water doesn't go everywhere and make sure there's sunlight and water it as much as you can but don't drown it that's one rule don't try and drown it, okay? So that's your sweet corn. Okay, and then I'm gonna go with strawberries, okay? So, all you have to do with strawberries is you get a strawberry like so. I'm gonna use this knife again. Just be careful, like I said. And all you do is you take a slither off the side, like so, so you can see all the seeds, okay? So there's one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use different strawberries just in case the seeds work better on different ones. That could be a complete myth that I've heard, but you never know. So then one more, and that is a good thing with strawberries, they do regrow, and I definitely know that they regrow and regrow for years and years. So again, what I'm gonna do, put the soil, make some holes, so I've made a bit bigger holes for this time, and not as deep, Okay, make some holes, pop the skin in, like so, cover it over, make sure it's covered properly, and then give that a water as well. And then leave them out, and then hopefully we'll start to see them grow, especially with the weather how it is at the minute, changing from sunny to raining all the time. So 
in a few months or whenever it is, once I've got a, got a few things growing, I'll do another video and let me know how you do. Use whatever you can. A lot of fruit and veg is able to regrow from its own seed. So have a Google, just like the garlic. Again, well done to the boys for making this and giving me the inspiration for it. And hopefully, see you all again soon. Keep safe and well. Bye.